Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, we're going to talk about um, the next two steps in the tax return process. So we've just calculated how much tax that John has to pay. And now we're going to calculate how much Medicare levy he has to pay. So Medicare levy is basically a fee for getting medical care in Australia and it's 2% of your taxable income. So the Medicare levy, Medicare levy equals 2% of taxable income. Now, who remembers what our taxable income was? 0 0.02 times. Our taxable income was 27000 $735.20 so putting that in the calculator 27735.2 times 0 0.02 and the answer is 554.70 That's how much Medicare levy you've got to pay. And then adding that onto our income tax, that gives you your total tax. Income tax plus Medicare levy, that is how much tax you've got to pay in total. So 1811.69 plus 554.7, add them all together. So we have $2,366.39, rounded to the nearest cent. Okay, the last step in the tax return process. You must be so happy to get here. Government compares how much tax you have already paid and how much tax you're supposed to pay and decide on whether you get a refund or whether you need to pay more tax. So how much tax you have already paid, which is PAYG, will usually given to you, be given to you in the question. Okay, how much tax you've already paid. So let's just assume that, assume John, so remember this part should be given to you. Um, assume John has paid 3000 in PAYG. So if he's already paid this much money, but he's only supposed to pay that much, guess what? He gets a refund. So tax refund equals 3000 minus 2366.39. All right. So that's how much he's already paid. That's how much He's only supposed to pay, so get the difference between them. And the answer is $633.61. That's his tax refund. If it was the other way around, if he has paid less than how much he's supposed to pay, then he will have to pay more. And that won't be a refund, that will be a tax debt. So, uh, actually, you guys can probably figure that part out, so I won't go through that. But basically, if this amount was less than this amount, then he would, be, have, he would have a tax debt. And you can calculate how much that is by getting the difference between them. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.